It is Friday, so we are taking a look at the week's biggest headlines. This is the week that was. The battle between the Trump administration and House Democrats is intensifying. The attorney for the first whistleblower confirmed his firm is now representing a second whistleblower. An 83-year-old man set to face charges today, accused in a deadly attack at a nursing home. Officials confirming the first vaping-related death in Massachusetts. This is the first confirmed case of the measles in Boston since 2013. We begin this morning with a weather alert. The first nor'easter of the season. The rain is going to be heaviest across southeastern Massachusetts. Pockets of damage and outages will result. Ferries are likely to be canceled. The Patriots and Giants are going to square off tonight on Thursday Night Football at Gillette. Rob Gronkowski making his return to football, but not the way many Patriots fans were hoping. Salem is banning e-scooters for the remaining weekends in October. A little boy in New York is starting his morning off right. I can do anything. But he's going to do great things. He's going to sing. I'm going to vote for him for president. The biggest breakout costume for 2019 is Forky. Chris is always a witch. Am I only a witch on Halloween, or are you saying I'm a I, witch every I day mean, of the year? Wherever you want. <laughs> Interpret that. If you find yourself in need of an afternoon nap, here are some tips. What about your three-hour nap? Yesterday was like two and a half hours, so it was slightly a better situation than... That's funny. <laughs> you are living your best life every day. <laughs> Guys, yesterday I napped for one hour. Aren't you proud of me? Good job. One hour. Thank you. We all wish we could be Brianna just a short time.